Good evening, parents and guardians. My name is Mr. Andrew Shetzko, and I'm the physical education teacher here at University Elementary School. Very excited for a school year to get back in the building. Uh, very excited for myself, the staff, the students, uh, the scholars. Very excited to be back in school, and I know that I know the scholars are excited as well. I would like to take you through a little presentation, all right, that I put together, give you a little bit better explanation about how we do things here for physical education. And being that we've been out of school for a little over a year now, it's a nice refresher to let you know how we do new things here at Universal Elementary when it comes to physical education. I'm going to share my screen with you now, and I'm going to share my presentation presentation that I've created for us. So again, welcome to the 2021-2022 academic school year, University Elementary School, where it is the home of the Hawks. All right. This is a little background about myself to give, to give you a little bit more information about who your child, all right, who their teacher will be for this school year. All right. My name again is Mr. Andrew Shetsko. The kids will call me Mr. A. Uh, you can call me Mr. A as well. It is a long last name, okay? Again, you can feel comfortable calling me Mr. Andrew Shetsko or Mr. A. I have no problem with that. Um, <clears throat> my bachelor's degree, I studied physical education at Montclair State University. I attained my master's degree at Ashford University. I've been in the Irvington School District for 11 years now. Six years I was at Irvington High School. Five years I was, I'm currently at University Elementary School. I've also coached football for a long time. I've played football in college as well, high school. And coaching has been a, a, a big impact on my teaching because coaching is teaching. It's just in a different aspect. So, again, I think that I've, uh, you know, teaching has strengthened my coaching and coaching has strengthened my teaching. Uh, I coached football for 15 years, 11 at the high school level and four at Kane University. All right. The physical education goals for the 2021-2022 school year. We want to build up the character, all right? We want to make your child feel good about themselves, okay? And have fun at the same time. And just building up character is going to make them a better student outside of gym class as well. Understand the importance of respect. We really want them to understand that, you know, we may not always get along with everybody, but we do have to show respect for one another. Learn what sportsmanship is, all right? Doing the things the right way being honest, okay, not doing things the wrong way and leading to errors that can happen in, in gym class. Why teamwork is important to reach goals. All right, we all know working in the workforce, okay, outside of sports, outside of school, you're always going to be part of a team. And it's very important that every part of the team is crucial to the overall team success. So I go over teamwork with them and understanding, like, it's very difficult to attain goals by yourself. When you work as a team, it's much easier to attain goals. How to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle. With the pandemic and everything that has happened, I think it's even more apparent how important it is to live a healthy lifestyle, to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so I always talk about that and the importance of it. To keep your child safe during all activities throughout the school year. We never want children to get hurt. We never want your child. We never want the scholars to ever get hurt in gym class. So anytime we're doing a sport, a game, I, I go through each rule thoroughly. All right. Because, again, the safety of your child is the most important aspect of physical education. Requirements for physical education for the 2021-22 school year. Must wear sneakers during all gym classes. This is not because Mr. A doesn't like sneak, doesn't like boots, doesn't like uh, shoes. It's just a safety, right? Again, it's the safety of your child. We want them to be safe. It's to ensure the safety of not only your child, but the other children as well. No food and or candy in the gym. If you've had the opportunity to see our gym here at University Elementary, we have a beautiful gym, a very, very nice gym. All right, and we want to keep it that way. We really want to keep it that way, so I always reiterate to the children, all right, let's make sure we are keeping our gym clean. Also, having food or candy in the gym can be a choking hazard while participating in activities. Anytime a child comes in with candy or gum, I always tell them immediately to get rid of it because, again, it's not just about keeping the gym floor clean, all right? It's about keeping your child safe, 
I, I don't want them choking on that during any physical activity. The grading, okay? The way physical education grading works is this. It's 60% participation, 40% quiz skills assessment. All right, and I'll go over what that means. Participation is the most important thing. All right, it is the most important thing when we do our stretches, when we play our games, all right, when we play our sports. We want them to participate. That's 60%. The other is the 40% of the quiz skills assessment. I'll explain what that means. When we're playing soccer, if we're shooting the ball, I will go over specific cues that I want them to use when kicking a soccer ball. And that's how we assess their ability to, to perform the skill. But as again, as you can see, the participation is weighted the heaviest. Now, I tell this to the students all the time. Here at University Elementary School, I will always tell the scholars, I am not looking for the best athlete. I'm looking for the best physical education student. You don't have to be a great athlete to be a great physical education student. And I, that is just so, again, I've been teaching for over 11 years now. And I, that's always true to my heart, okay? Because some of my best students have not played sports, but they always do what they're asked. They're always following the rules. They're always participating, always prepared for gym. So it's very important that they know that and they're aware of that. Mask and face shields, right? We're living in different times at the moment, right? During physical education class, our scholars are allowed to take mass breaks without the need to ask myself. I tell them, I've been telling them, if you need to take the mass break, you don't have to ask Mr. A. Just what I ask is that they go to the bleachers or they go a safe distance away from everyone else, take their mask off, maybe get a drink of water, all right? And then they could enter back into the activity. We know the masks are tough sometimes when it comes to physical activity. And that's why I encourage, I encourage them Take mass breaks. I want you to take mass breaks, okay? And I keep encouraging them to do that. Now, in the event of us going virtual during the school year, all right, I provided Google Classroom links below. We have a K to K to two Google Classroom link and code, and we have a grades three through five Google Classroom and code. So in the event that we do go virtual, okay, these are how the students will be entering into the Google Classroom. All right, go Hawks. All right, again, that, that is our mascot. All right, we take a lot of pride in that. The physical education staff here at University Elementary School looks forward to teaching your child throughout the 2021 2020 school year. Please, if you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you. This is my email, gandrewshetsko at irvington.k12.nj.us. I will stop sharing my screen now and come back. To right okay. all right sorry about that so again i look very i look forward it's just so nice to be back in the building um the students are very very excited to be doing gym again um it's been a while all right and we're taking it slow uh we know they haven't been in gym for a while and i'm taking it slow with them i want you to know that Okay, the best interest of your child is in my hands, and I'm going to do everything I can to ensure their safety, their well-being. Again, I'm very excited to be back. All right, if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All right, looking forward to a great school here. Thank you.